Having filters that can filter all your pivot tables at once is nearly impossible, but not after watching this video. So if you like the content, I heard there is a button called like and another one called subscribe. If you can hit them, it would mean the world to me. Let me show you the issue. So here we have some data and I have created a couple of pivot tables from the same data set with a filter coming on this pivot table. So if I go to the city and try to select one city, for example, Los Angeles, this will update, but this will not update. And the problem is you don't want to add another filter here. And every time you filter something, you have to filter it everywhere. Imagine you have 10 tables, you would have a headache trying to do your analysis. So let me show you a quick and easy solution. We're going to start from scratch and go back. This is the data. Let's click inside, insert pivot table. Let's put it in a new worksheet and let's add the category in the rows, the quantity in the values. Perfect. Control C, Control V, we copy paste it. And for the second one, I'm going to add the product with the quantity. Now let's do a few cosmetics. So go to view, click on the grid lines. This will make your work neater. Click on the first table, design. Let's select the design really quick. And for the second one, same thing. There we go. Let's add our filters. So we're going to put the region first and then the city. Now that we have this, we need those two filters to work on this table. What is the secret? I'm going to show it to you step by step. The secret is first step, add some slicers. So what are slicers? Basically, if you go on the first table, you have region here, right click, add a slicer, do the same for the city, add a slicer. Perfect. Now the problem is those two slicers will only work on this table. For example, Los Angeles, it only fixed this table. So how to connect them to the second table? Let me show you. And by the way, this is not the trick you're going to see at the end. So right click, report connections. We're going to also connect it to the second table. Do the same for this one, report connections. This is my second table, press OK. Now if I change, both are changing. But I don't want those filters. So how to play hide and seek and how to hide them? Well, here is the best option. You just go under home, find and select selection pane this people don't use but it's very useful you have here your two slicers just click on the eye and it becomes blind we don't see them anymore they have disappeared and now if i come and select another city both of them will update there we go I hope you like it. Let me know in the comment section if you knew about this trick or not. I'm very curious to know.